Hey everyone, welcome to West Coast Ranching. I want to start off by saying thank you to all the people who have viewed my videos, subscribed, and liked. It's a great compliment and I really appreciate it. A few people have asked me about how I did my own accessory brackets and in this episode I'm going to take you through how I did that. A quick disclaimer here that you should only attempt to make your own accessory brackets if you've got some solid fab skills. Losing a belt at high RPM could hurt you or could hurt your engine. I don't want to give anyone the idea that this is a really, really simple thing to do because there's a lot of measurement involved and it could be a little bit tricky for some people. The key to all of this is getting the correct spacing and how I did this was I used a big straight edge on the crank pulley and from that I determined the depth that my other pulleys need to be at. That's the dimension that I worked with to then figure out how big the spacers need to be, how big my brackets needed to be, so on and so forth. I cut all of my brackets out of aluminum and I did that using a jigsaw with a wood blade on it and a lot of WD-40. Believe it or not, this really does work good. You'll be impressed. The power steering bracket is really simple. It's just a piece of aluminum plate spaced off of the head with three standoffs. The pump itself also has some small spacers which space it off of the plate because the mounting surfaces on the pump aren't all at the same elevation. This will make more sense to you when you take a look at your Saginaw pump. The alternator bracket is a bit of a tricky one. The first plate just forms a place for the alternator to rotate around. And you can see it's got a little front plate too with a couple standoffs in there to get the spacing correct. Then I've got this tensioner on there which is actually made up of two nuts and a steel standoff. And one of the nuts is reverse threaded so I welded the nut to the standoff and then just kind of ground them smooth. You'll see the adjuster is mounted to a little plate and that plate has a couple counterboard holes in it. The bolts which hold that plate are the same ones which bolt the water pump to the engine. So they're pretty long because the water pump is also spaced off of the engine three quarters of an inch. So I'll leave you with this sequence of me fighting to put the alternator back on because honestly it's not the best design. It's kind of hard to install the alternator. I know I've left a lot of details out here and I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how I did this. I know that if you've got the fab skills to do this, then I've given you enough information to work with and you can go ahead and make your own custom set of brackets. I'd love to see what you guys come up with, so if you do make something, feel free to comment below and uh, I'd like to take a look. Thanks for watching.